Hello, and welcome to this presentation. I promised you in the last video that I would show you how to make a birthday card using Microsoft PhotoDraw 2000 version 2. So, here is the card that I am going to make for you. The front and back of this card consist of a background image. A line which divides the card into two halves. An image of my Labrador that I cut out of a photograph. A thought bubble with some text which reads, I'm here to help you celebrate your birthday properly. And a crown with some text beside it which reads, Brian's best. The inside of this card is also divided into two halves by a line. One side of the card has been left blank, so that someone can write a note in their own handwriting. The other half has a different image of my dog which was cut out of a photo. I place a party hat on her head, and a thought bubble next to her head which reads. And what would a birthday be without cake? There is a plate of cake on her paws and the words happy birthday below her picture. These two images make up the outside and inside of this card. Now, I will show you how it's done. The first thing I'll do is to find a background image. So, let's go over to Google, and from the home page click on the images link at the top of the page. Now, I'll just do a search for balloon background and see what I can find there. Here is an image that will make a great background for this birthday card. Next, I want to find an image of a birthday party hat, so I'll enter the words birthday hat into the search box. I can see a stock image on this page that will work nicely. I prefer to work with stock images whenever possible, because they are much easier to cut out from the original picture. Finally, I'll search for an image of a piece of cake on a plate. I found one that has an image with a dark background. This is good, because it makes it easier to use the edge finder function to cut out the cake from the original picture. I saved all of these images from the internet to my computer so I can edit them directly. Now that I have all of the images I need for this card, it's time to edit them in PhotoDraw. First, I will use the edge finder function to cut out the piece of cake on a plate from the dark background. All I need to do is click on the point where I wish to start cutting, and follow the outline of the shape making sure to keep the edge of my object within the boundaries of the edge finder tool. When I have finished tracing around the outside of the shape, I can click the Finish button to have the program place the cutout section in a new window. Next, I will use the Cutout by Color function of PhotoDraw to cut out the party hat from the white background. All I have to do is select the Cutout opposite area and put in New Picture Options. Then, I will drag the pointer over the white area of my image. PhotoDraw will select that color within my image. I will then click the Finish button to have the program put the resulting image in a new picture. I also use the Edge Finder tool to cut my dog out of the two photos I took of her. I now have all of the images I need to make my birthday card, so I can start putting it together. I will start by creating a new picture. All I need to do is to select the predefined dimensions of my image from the New Picture dialog box. Next, I will use the Picture Setup dialog box to change the unit of measurement to pixels, and the orientation to landscape. Then, I need to draw a line through the center of my card, so that I can position my other images and text properly. Also, this will help me to fold the card neatly. I will format the color and edge properties of the line, so that it isn't too noticeable. Now, I will choose the Format Background option to specify the color, texture, or image that I wish to use as a backdrop for my picture. I can either use the images that come with PhotoDraw, or import my own image. In this case, I already have an image that I want to import, so I will do that now. It's time to insert the image of my dog into this picture. All I have to do is to drag her image from the pictures panel into the picture I am currently working on. Then, I will resize and position that image where I want it to be. Now to insert a thought balloon. I will choose the auto shapes option from the draw slash paint menu. 
I will select the shape I wish to draw, and create it within the picture. Then I will format the edge and fill style of the shape. I can apply a fade out effect by selecting that option from the effects menu. All I need to do here is to specify the type of fade effect I wish to apply to this shape, and move the sliders around until I am satisfied with the results. To insert a block of text into my card, I will choose that option from the text menu. I will enter some words into the text box, and format the font style, size and fill of the text until I am satisfied with its appearance. The text in this balloon will read, I'm here to help you celebrate your birthday properly. Now that I've finished making the text for the thought balloon, I will create another block of text for the back of my card. This time, I will choose a different font, and fill it with a golden texture to make it look shiny. I went with a Hallmark theme, but instead I placed the text, Brian's Best, on the back of the card to let the receiver know that I made it. Next, I will make a gold crown to place beside the text. I can draw a crown by selecting the shapes option from the draw slash paint menu. Now, I will find the crown shape and draw it within the picture. After that, I will specify the edge and fill properties for this shape. I don't want an edge for my crown, so I selected that option from within the edges panel. However, I do want to fill this object with a two-color gradient, so I will select that option from within the fill panel, and choose the two colors that I want to use and the fill style for that gradient. Okay, I am finished with the outside of my card. Now I'll concentrate on the inside portion of it. I have already created a blank picture like I did for the front portion of my card, and drew a line to divide it into two portions. Now, I will insert the other image of my dog, and the cake and hat images too. Then, I will just position them where they need to go. I need to create another thought balloon to go with the second image of my dog, so I will select that shape from the auto shapes panel and draw it next to her head. I will specify the edge and fill color for this shape and insert the text of the thought balloon like I did on the outside portion of this card. The text in this thought balloon will read, and what would a birthday be without cake? Finally, I will insert another block of text beneath the image of my dog that reads Happy Birthday. I would like to use a more cursive font for this block of text. I want it to be filled with a blue color and have a yellow outline. So I will choose these attributes in those panels.
and presto. I have created a personalized birthday card that my friend will love. Now all I have to do is print it on some glossy paper and I can give it to them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.